starting to get warm. I'm going through some of my kayak stuff and just wanted to give an overview of the kayak that I used for the past year and a half. It's done me really well. It is a uh, 2012 Hobie Mirage Sport. Huh? And I picked it up used for $700 back in uh, 2019. Obviously it didn't come with any of this stuff. It was bare, bare, bare. Uh, and there was a guy who was just using it, I guess, for you know, casual pedaling and that's it. So I turned it into a uh, fishing kayak, reasonably cheap, and uh, we're gonna walk you through it. So let's start from the front. So here we have, um, Here's just my anchor, and I'll, I'll put links to pretty much everything that I can find that I bought. What? This is my anchor with, you know, a bunch of rope. I use this really only when black fishing. It's really the only time I'm anchoring. Yep. So that's the anchor. Here's the front hatch. I don't really go in here ever, so pretty much just where I um, you know, need to bail water if it happens. So, let's see in there, not much going on. And uh, so moving right along, here is the Mirage Drive, and this is the V1. So this is a really old, pretty much the first, first one. And uh, yeah, it's done me well. Kept good care of it. I've had to make some adjustments here on the idler cable. As you can see, they don't make the small idler cable anymore. So I actually had to buy the V2 and put an extension there to make it work. But it worked, yeah. You know, these cables are good, but they, they will rust out. So you, you do have to, uh, you know, rinse with fresh water every time. Um, so the only things that I kind of put here on the side are, you know, I have a rod holder in the front, which is very helpful when you're, uh, you know, when you catch a fish and then you want to put your rod somewhere, it's good to have one in the front. On this side, I have my fish finder. You can see, so I think this is a ram mount. I screwed it in to the, to the hole. And uh, pretty sure Garmin comes with this top piece, which I was just able to screw in. So, yeah, I can send you a link to this. I do like this Garmin. It's done. Turn on. It's done pretty well. Nothing special. Uh, it has down view, I think. This is an EcoMap Plus 44. Uh, the maps are old, but it doesn't matter because... I mostly use Navionics anyway to get around. Uh, this is just really for depth and for sonar. So, you know, obviously if, uh, if I upgrade, I probably would only go to, um, I probably would go straight to side scan. But uh, yeah, this is, you know, my setup. So I think you can see it. Shit that off. So going back to, um, let's say in the middle. So here, middle hatch. This is where the action happens. You got a box here with the battery, and my transducer is uh, attached. I do a through hole setup. If you can see. And I have a duck seal there. That's duck seal on the sides and then gorilla tape holding it together. So that's how I uh, use the transducer. And it hasn't moved. It's pretty good. I've had to adjust it a little bit here and there. Here's the box that I keep the battery in. You can see the battery. And yeah, it's pretty simple. And the wiring just you know, made a hole here, 
I had sealed it with some silicone, but it looks like it came off. Really not a big deal. I mean, my kayak takes on some water, but it's not that much. You know, ran the wires through, through the box in the back there. And then connect it to a pretty simple battery. I'll send, put a link. It's a cheap battery, but it's done well. I think it's a lead acid. Nothing special. Again, this is my first pedal kayak, so I wanted to do everything as cheap as possible. Um, yeah, just pliers here. This is a pretty good life jacket. Um, yeah, I don't wear it all the time, to be honest. But if uh, it's getting a little choppy and I'm going a little bit further out, you know, I'm pushing that, I'm pushing the boundaries a bit, I definitely will wear it. Um, the seat is definitely something to be, you know, I need something better. This does, this does wear on your butt after a while. I'm sitting on this thing all day. It's not really much cushion. You know, it's kind of low and yeah, it's not a whole lot of back support. But yeah, it works for four or five hours that I'm out there. All right, so here's the crate. I bought these, uh, these rod holders screwed them into a piece of hardwood floor that I had laying around with a screw here. And um, I did that for two sides. I don't really need much. You know, you don't, I don't keep much. Here's like, you know, what I have probably for spring, mostly bass and blackfish stuff. And uh, some soft plastics, some meter line, a knife. This is more uh, jigs, I believe. And uh, yeah, meat hook in case, uh, you know, I catch a stray Atlantic halibut. Never know. Important stuff. This is a uh, first aid kit. First aid kit. And then my, uh, what was my fishing registration? Can't really see. But um, well that, that I'll put I just put in the uh, in the uh, middle hatch. I'll, yeah, I'll put it in there. Let's get the cup away. Here's my um, my ruler. Simple aluminum yardstick picked up at Home Depot. Super cheap. Just clipped it on. Have a leash. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. This is the uh, the steering. You can still see it works pretty good. Got to keep an eye on this rudder too. You know, when you're down there, this doesn't have any kick up or anything, and you, know, you just have to be aware. Um, with the older stuff, and it, it is a little bent. I don't know if you can you can see it here. Um, but you know, when I'm when I'm going, it still works. Yeah, that rudder was actually more bent than normal. I went back after and straightened it out a bit. So, yeah, and uh, usually only, oh, and I guess the last thing would be you have to have a flag. So I just took a rod, put the U.S. flag on there. And I don't really like the ones that are the ones that they sell are like are like this high. And to me, that just doesn't make much sense. I mean, how is a boat really going to see you on the horizon with that? I mean, you want to be up, so, you know, I like having my flag much higher. Anyway, uh, I think that's it. Oh, anchor trolley. You can see here, it's a simple, basic anchor trolley. I did affix it on the top and not the side, as most people do. I really didn't know what I was doing. Um, probably should have put it, you know, starting back there, but I was... I guess, you know, just live and learn. It does me fine. I, I really only ever want my anchor pulling from the front anyway. I always anchor, you know, with the anchor in front of me. It's just easier to manage and see what's happening. And, you know, here's, here's a little tie-off. Oh, looks like a stray crab leg from fall. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, you know, I'll tally all this up and give you the final cost. Here's like a little pouch I got as a gift. It's 
kind of nice, waterproof, so you keep your, you know, phone, keys, stuff that's a little bit more valuable, I'll keep in there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, and, uh, oh, here, this is actually really important, the, uh, the, the uh, axle for transporting it, you know, this was a cheap aluminum frame with uh, some cheap wheels that are no good in sand. So if I, w if I were to give you a recommendation, if you know you're going to be on a beach, if you're going to be on sand launching, don't even bother with any other wheel except this wheel. It's called a beach wheel. I mean, I think Bonalo makes some, but... I pretty much had to uh, create my own axle because, yeah, the other ones just didn't cut it. And uh, these were bigger than those, so I had to epoxy, you know, a threaded rod out here. So, but it worked out. Um, but yeah, I ended up spending, you know, probably just as much if I had bought the cart with the wheels to begin with. So. That would be my recommendation. Just get the beach wheels if you're going to be on the beach. And uh, one last thing. This stuff is great for putting on all the connections. So, you know, not every time I go out, but you want to put this stuff in all these connections to prevent rust. As you can see, the hot looks a little more rusted from the ground but you know, I started applying this stuff the Lubra plate and yeah it's amazing I put that on the, uh, the battery connectors that are in there too really important um, alright let me know what you think and uh, yeah I hope this gives uh, gives you an idea oh, and uh, you also want to put your name an address and an emergency contact here on your boat. Coast Guard's wanting us to do that, so. Yeah, that's it. Um, show you quickly. You know, I, I did epoxy coat this bottom because of all the scratches, but I don't think it really did much. Probably don't recommend to do that. I had to increase this a bit. But that's it, and um, you know, it's, if you're looking for a small boat that's sturdy and maneuverable, the Hobie Sport is the best, I, I, I do believe that. You, you know, it has these like the Outbacks, which are great for putting stuff in. This is the reason though, that the Outbacks are heavier than say the Compass. It's just, it's just really mainly because of this. But this does add durability to the sides of your kayak, so, you know, it's a give and take if you want this or, or you know, you want something bigger. To me, very important that it's light, light enough to car top so I can, you know, take it farther than just, just my house. Alright, thanks for watching. Here's the list for everything that I purchased. Again, I started with a Hobie Mirage Sport used, and I added all these things to it. The Fish Finder is $350 now. That's pretty crazy to me. I don't know why it went up so much. Maybe you don't need the meat hook, so you, that could be substituted for a $20 cooler. I use a pretty large cooler that was given to me as a gift, but it is too big for my kayak. I'll leave a link in the description for that. And the last two items I didn't include in the video, but they were for transporting the kayak. I bought a cheap roof rack and these foam blocks with straps. And that's the way that I find it easiest to uh, transport the kayak.